Hey guys, we're talking old sleds again. This is the 1998 Polaris XCR 440. Uh, back in the day, these were considered one of the best uh, cross-country racers. That's what XCR stands for, by the way. And uh, this is a good survivor, the one I have here. Uh, doesn't seem to have ever been stored outdoors. There are a few uh, changes from original. You might notice the yellow decals on the XCR and the 440, and I know the light's bad, but or the indie there but uh, I heard that those were stickers uh, that were given to the uh, factory race program school that uh, when drivers went to they gave me a set of those decals to help them stand out um, so anyway yeah 1998 uh, 440 liquid cooled twin carburetor 34 McCoonies some might say well gee why do they only have a 34 on them well, those were the rules back then. They limited the uh, carburetor size. Back to some of the changes that someone made to this sled over the years. The blue skis. They were not blue originally. They were black. And these are made by CNA, so someone put these on. Also, someone put on different shocks. So you can see this has a reservoir. So these are not the stock shocks on this. Uh, and these are actually clickers, so you can adjust the uh, setting on those. Um, nice add-on, but quite frankly, I'd rather see one uh, pure original. But uh, yeah, um, on the outside you'll notice it has a, the quote clear tank and no cover on it. And notice there's no speedometer either, because uh, of course you didn't care how fast you were going, you just went as fast as you thought you could go. Um, someone added a uh, windshield bag, which of course could hold some spare parts or uh, snacks or cold beverages. Let's go under the hood and uh, so I don't know what's the best light here but anyway you'll you'll notice the variable exhaust valve system. Now those are some things that add about 10-15 horsepower to the traditional 440 but there are also some things that could fail and up until a couple years ago you couldn't get to bellows which were kind of like rubber oh I'll just call them thingies that could tear and they did tear over time and you have to uh, make sure those valves are kept clean and run a good oil in them um, but uh, also liquid cooled brakes this is not the first year Polaris had that I don't know if any other brands had that on there or not but uh, supposedly it helped you cool your brakes down and notice the pipe with the can uh, that uh, you know it's not just a single piece pipe but uh, yeah I uh, <laughs> these sleds produced some say between 95 100 horsepower they would give 600s fits because your typical trail 600 would be right around that range and I think that being a smaller displacement motor you would develop that horsepower more quickly so through the woods, through the ditches, that uh, acceleration is a lot better. Let's uh, go ahead and start it up and hear this. By the way, it's about 90 degrees today. Yeah, Polaris, if you're listening, please make sleds like this again, because I've ridden one of the new ones, and yeah, they're, they're nice and impressive and everything, but I feel like I'm sitting on them. And with these sleds, I felt like I was just part of the machine more than uh, the newer stuff. But hey, that's everyone's personal preference, and I just, uh, through the woods and everything, boy, these things just ride rails. And uh, again, these are just great old sleds. So, if you uh, like this video, I put one up the other day about a 96 XCR 440 Special. Uh, but if you like these, I'll uh, keep putting in more videos. I got a, f a lot of older sleds to uh, talk about. 
and uh, subscribe and like and uh, I'll keep doing it if not uh, well you guys have a great day anyway have a good one